host Rob. This video, we're going to do the rewind review of Gamera Attack of Legion. <laughs> Okay, guys, welcome back. So I finally got my DVD the other day. Uh, it took a little while to get here, but I'm glad I'm glad it got here. Uh, finally got to see Attack of Legion, a gamer. And I got to tell you, the other night I watched it, and as soon as it was done, I right away watched uh, Revenge of Iris. And I got to say, um, I'm very, very impressed with this trilogy. I'm very impressed with the quality of the video, first of all, because I have the Godzilla vs. Biollante Blu-ray. And while that quality is uh, pretty good, I got to say the quality in the Gamera trilogy is far better. Now, this movie was very interesting. One of the things I love, and I, this is just, maybe it's just me, I don't know. I thought this was genius. The way they set it up that this alien race that comes down from space on a meteor, how they begin to, in some ways, generate their terrain in the city. You see the big plants and whatnot. And how the plants they nourish increase the oxygen around them, making them very uh, flammable, so to speak. And um, the pod they shoot up, not only does it have collateral damage effect, but also spawns more of their race to enter the world. It's almost like a double effect. And I thought whoever wrote that was genius. I thought that was a genius way to explain an alien kaiju race. Now, with that said... Um, you know, this the story takes place a couple of years after Gamera and Gaios. Gamera's chilling right now. He figures his job is done. Uh, this alien race begins to... Uh, this starts off in the form of these little monsters. Very much reminded me of the parasites from Cloverfield. So I thought that was pretty cool. Very much reminded me of that. I'm wondering if Cloverfield got their inspiration from that movie. Because it's very, very similar. At least, at least I, that's what I thought. And um, so these little things are, are really attracted to, like, uh, electromagnetic currents of some sort. Or, or radio waves or something. And glass. That's the part I, I think I missed. I don't know what the obsession is with glass. But the other thing I loved about this movie was the violence. I mean, that, that train scene was awesome. You know, the way the, uh, the the little alien monsters were just starting to, to kill people. And you see blood splattering. And I'm like, oh, man, it's incredible. That's that's the kind of kaiju stuff I've been, I've been wanting to see. Because... As much as I like the cheesy, campy stuff, I like the serious stuff, too. I want there to be some serious stuff. So I thought that was cool. You know, Gamera, the updated look was great. The only thing I got to criticize is I wish they would update his roar. That's the one thing. When, when you consider the serious tone of this trilogy and you consider his updated look, especially in the third movie, which we'll get to on Wednesday, I got to say the roar, I feel personally, maybe just should have upgraded a little bit. But nonetheless, it's still his signature roar. And obviously, you can't have Gamera without that roar. So in terms of Legion, as I said, I really like the design of Little Monsters. The Queen Legion, I thought, was phenomenal. I love that design. It's so unique. It's so different. The power at which it displayed. I mean, the way they conveyed the special effects so that you can get a sense of how powerful these monsters were, especially the Queen Legion, I thought was great. I enjoyed that so much. And to see Gamera, I mean, you can tell Gamera was overwhelmed with this enemy. I thought the, the struggle against Legion, to me, was a bigger struggle than uh, the struggle against Iris. So um, it, it, was, it was a great, great back and forth fight throughout the movie, especially when Gamera got toasted and basically, um, no pun intended, busted out of his shell, actually, at some point. And uh, he summoned, uh, what I guess, what they describe later on in the third movie to be Mana, um, how he summoned that to do that plasma blast from his chest that just incinerated Legion. And that gives you an idea of what kind of enemy Legion was, in my opinion. For, for Gamera to go to that extent to defeat an enemy... Uh, gives you an idea of just how tough the enemy was because even after Gamera ripped off the horns then these whips come out and start piercing him and, and whipping through his body I mean it was great it was great and the other thing I like about this series too is the continuity because you have Asagi uh, the girl the little girl or the young lady who's linked to Gamera at least up until the end of this movie um, until the, the little pendant breaks and um you know, I, I like that. I like that kind of continuity. And it's same same stuff with, like, the 90s Godzilla movies. Uh, although this continuity, to me, was a lot stronger. But, you know, I got to say, this was a very pleasant trilogy. And 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 I got to admit, it does give me hope that maybe they can make a Gamera movie uh, one day. I think he deserves, he really does deserve uh, some attention, a little bit more love. And I know that every most Godzilla fans are Gamera fans. It just... He's not on that pedestal. You know, everybody's like, yeah, Gamera's great, but 
Godzilla. Gamera this, but Godzilla. You know, and, and I gotta say, um, I'm glad I haven't done my fantasy battle with Godzilla Gamera yet because um, after seeing this trilogy, I, I'm convinced that Gamera could possibly beat him. I gotta be honest. I, I'm, I'm, if I'm to be fair and, and, and not biased and to look at it from a movie standpoint, I think he's just as powerful. I, that fire breath is sick. That plasma from the chest is crazy. And and Gamera can throw down on land and he can fly. So he's got he actually has some advantages over Godzilla. He's not as durable though. I gotta say that. He he man, he got lumped up quite a bit. So uh but anyway, Gamera Attack of Legion was a great movie. I really enjoyed it. Uh I thought the kaiju battles were great. I thought Legion was a fucking awesome design i love that design i thought the concept of the whole alien she being the queen the flower plants shooting pods in the air man that shit was great great stuff i mean that was really great stuff the dark tone was awesome the way the military in this in this in these movies the military seems to be more effective and think outside of the box i mean it's just a well-written kaiju movie with well-designed kaiju uh costumes and well-crafted and choreographed kaiju fighting. I, I gotta say, it was phenomenal. I'm very impressed. Very, very impressed. So anyway, guys, that's it. Attack of Legion, man. A+. plus. That shit was off the hook. I loved it. I want to see it again. So on uh, Wednesday, we'll be doing uh, uh, Iris, uh, Revenge of Iris. And uh, yeah, yep. Camera, good shit, man. Anyway, guys, that's it for this review. I'll see you next video. Take it easy. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. I'm your host, Rob. This video, we're going to do the rewind review of Gamera Attack of Legion. <laughs> Okay, guys, welcome back. So I finally got my DVD the other day. Uh, it took a little while to get here, but I'm glad I'm glad it got here. Uh, finally got to see Attack of Legion, a gamer. And I got to tell you, the other night I watched it, and as soon as it was done, I right away watched uh, Revenge of Iris. And I got to say, um, I'm very, very impressed with this trilogy. I'm very impressed with the quality of the video, first of all, because I have the Godzilla vs. Biollante Blu-ray. And while that quality is uh, pretty good, I gotta say the quality in the Gamera trilogy is far better. Now, 